Okay, this is question four on the uh, prep quiz 33. It's a recurrence relation. You are given two initial values here uh, of the sequence. The fact that uh, A0 is a negative one and A1 is a seven. The formula to get the rest of the terms is that a sub n plus 2 should be found then by taking negative 9 a sub n plus 1 minus 20 a sub n. And it's our job to figure out the, uh, the formula, closed form formula for a sub n. So here's how this works. Um, we're going to start off by setting this equal to 0. So we're going to ship over these terms here and have a sub n plus 2 plus 9 a sub n plus 1 plus 20 a sub n is equal to 0. Now we want to bring in the shift operator E. And what it does to a sub n is it gives you a sub n plus 1 shift operator. If you do it again, it's going to give you a sub n plus 2. And so we are going to then write this as a polynomial with the shift operator. E squared is what this guy is on a sub n. Uh, 9e on a sub n plus 20. This is all, imagine the a sub n being distributed across there. Um, e squared on a sub n gives you a sub n plus 2. E on a sub n gives you a sub n plus 1. So you end up with this polynomial. And uh, The 20 technically should have an I on it. Sorry about that. I is the uh, identity operator. These are all operators in here. So you can't have like a, it's a single number floating around. We need it with an operator on it. Although the operator is leave it alone operator I. Um, okay. This factors nicely. It factors as e plus 5, e plus 4. Well, we can't have this operator plus number. We have to bring in the i. But yeah. And so what's going to happen then is either e plus 5i operating on uh, I'm going to change this to uh, solutions to this have the format of, uh, let me use a capital A, 1 is equal to 0, or E plus 4I operating on A2 is equal to 0. We're going to figure out what A1 and A2 are. They're called uh, primal, uh, primal solutions. Okay. And so... Um, our job is to find constants where uh, what this basically means is that a1, which is a formula on n, this is like a this is a this is a sequence. Okay. Uh, it should be equal to the uh, constant c1 times uh, negative 5 to the n. And a2 on n should be some constant c2 times negative 4 to the n. So what's going on with these solutions? We have these, these solutions here. And our, basically our job is to find the c1 and the c2. Um, our original sequence is going to be written then as a combination of these two. Okay. And it's going to be our job to figure out what the combination is. 
So we're going to have um, a sub n be equal to a combination of these. Officially, it's a linear combination. Um, c1 negative 5 to the n plus c2 negative 4 to the n. We have to find c1 and c2. Okay, but we have information to help us out with that. We got to go back to the beginning. We know when n equals 0, we should get a negative 1. And when n equals 1, we should get a 7. A sub 0 would be taking c1 times negative 5 to the 0 and c2 times negative 4 to the 0. And that should be equal to negative 1. Negative 1 would be c1 plus c2. That's one equation. For our two unknowns, we need another equation. And that comes from our second piece of information. The fact that when n is 1, a1 is going to equal c1 times negative 5 to the 1 plus c2 times negative 4 to the 1. And we already know that a1 is a 7. Negative 5c1 minus 4c2 should be equal to positive 7. We are looking at two equations and two unknowns. System of equations, linear system of equations. We're going to solve that by uh, multiplying the first equation by uh, 5, getting negative 5 equals uh, 5c1 plus 5c2, and adding that to the second equation, 7 is negative 5c1 minus 4c2, eliminating the c1s, giving us the fact that, uh, oh, that's nice, we just have what c2 is a 2. The coefficient on negative 4 to the n should be a 2. We can rule out 4 of our 6 answers right away. Um, negative 1 is equal to C1 plus the C2. So C1 is negative 3. And of course, both of those remaining answers have C1 equals to negative 3. Okay. All right, great. So we have um, these answers differentiating themselves by the fact that there's a further question that's asked. Let's go back and write a sub n. Negative 3 times negative 5 to the n plus 2 times negative 4 to the n. It's a nice closed form way of writing the ways to get your numbers in this recurrence relation. We solved it. It's like solving a differential equation. <laughs> okay. Now, the question is, uh, when, when you have n equals to 1,000, the question is, what parity? Is it odd or even? Okay. And so, um, well, 3 is odd. Um, negative 5 raised to powers will be, will be odd, and an odd times an odd is an odd. With, with numbers, that is. And so this product here is going to be an odd. And uh, this product here is going to be an even. What happens when you add an odd and an even? You're going to end up with an odd. And so every single term is odd, not just the 1,000th. You can try it for yourself. Look at the first few terms. Every single term is odd. Okay, so that then gives you this answer here. Okay, hopefully that was helpful. Uh, solving a recurrence relation. And uh, we'll do more of these. Okay, thank you.